In this very quick video, we will apply Detectron 2 on a single image to identify the objects in that image by putting bounding boxes around them. Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. And uh, just in case if you don't know, Detectron 2 is the powerful open source object detection framework from Facebook AI research. Uh, with this tool, you can use and train various state-of-the-art models for detection tasks such as bounding box detection, instance and semantic segmentation, and person key point detection. So here I am in my VS Code, a very simple implementation of uh, the Detectron 2. Uh, so uh, this is just only a few lines of codes. Uh, first, I'm importing all the relevant module from Detectron 2. Uh, the most important beings, uh, being this model zoo, then get CFG, CFG node, uh, metadata catalog, uh, etc. So anyway, and of course, we need uh, CV2 for uh, reading and writing our images. And arc parse I need because I have this method at the very first um, uh, part of the file where I need to parse the uh, few, uh, two arguments that I will pass while running this file. So uh, the only job of these uh, parse argument method is to parse the two arguments that I will pass while running this entire file. Uh, so the first argument to parse is base model. By default, it will uh, implement this particular uh, Detectron 2 model. So in Detectron 2, you can run a plethora of deep learning uh, object detection model on your image and you can actually choose them. So here by default, I am choosing this one, the mask RCNN R underscore 101 FPN 3X. And um, the next argument is images. Uh, so this will just take a list of space separated image file and return them uh, as image files to your actual execution code, which is uh, right here down below. And so in the execution part of this code, the first uh, line I'm doing here is just reading the uh, parsed argument with this line arc parse dot namespace and then all these parameters actually are coming from detectron 2 uh, and uh, this cfg is actually where you configure your all the hyperparameters and parameters of detectron 2 and you can actually check their documentation i definitely recommend you go through them but they have beautiful documentation uh, for all parts of Detectron 2. So right now I'm looking at the Detectron2.config. Uh, this is the one that I was talking about just now. So this line CFG node equal to get CFG. It's pretty much comes at the first while you are loading all the configuration. And the next one I'm just uh, getting the base model uh, because as you remember our base model uh, comes from this argument. So uh, in this line, I'm doing model zoo.getconfig file args.base model. And then this line, uh, CFG model, uh, cfg.model.roi heads dot score trash test. It's a, it's a threshold used to filter out low scored bounding boxes predicted by your chosen model during inference or test time. Uh, basically, any prediction with a confidence score above the threshold value is kept and returned and anything below is discarded so here i'm choosing 0 0.4 so all my uh, score which is above 40 percent will be returned and then in the next line i'm just getting the weights for my base model and then uh, default predictor so this create a simple end-to-end -end predictor with the given config and that runs on single device for a single input image all right with that let's uh, uh, start with our image so uh, in this loop uh, what i'm all doing that i am reading the uh, images passed as part of my arguments parsing uh, mechanism uh, so that will be a list of images and it can also be a single image and here in this line i'm just reading that with cv2.im read and output will be uh, this is another another method of detectron 2 that comes from this default predictor so to this predictor i have to pass as an instance this particular image that i have read for my arguments 
and then about these uh, visualizer class uh, this contains all the methods uh, that you need to draw the images for example in this case i'm drawing with this method v dot draw instance prediction and uh, to this method i'm passing this output that i got from the predictor and also with output dot two i am giving it to uh, to the cpu and then in the next line processed image it's just by this time the image has already been processed so i am uh, uh, making proper use of get image to uh, get my processed image in proper numpy format and then in this line all i'm doing with uh, uh, regularization search that i'm removing the image extension from the file name uh, and also these minus one uh, slice minus one is to remove the last dot at the end of the image file name and then with this line i am just adding uh, this particular string at the end of the processed file that is by this time uh, the file has been properly processed by detectron 2 and the bounding boxes have been applied and then the final line here just returns that file and finally to run these uh, file you can just execute this python file as a regular python file so what i did i fired up my colab and um, uh, remember you have to install uh, detectron 2 in colab so this is the command for that and it will take a couple of minutes to install because there's a lot of uh, a lot of files lot of packages in it uh, uh so you just run this run this uh, command and then in the next line next cell you can execute that uh, detectron 2.py that we coded uh, till now all this file uh, and pass an image to it with this option so of course obviously you have to upload this detectron 2.py file into the collab session storage so i did it here uh, this file detectron 2.py and also i uploaded an example image so then this command uh, uh, should work that is uh, uh, you pass the option as um, hyphen dash dash images and then this image example image dot jpg and that's all you when you run this command it will process the image and uh, produce another separate image uh, that will be saved in the same directory and um, that image processed image will have the uh, all the bounding boxes so let's see actually the result so this is my original image that i passed to the detectron model as an input and after processing this is the output that i got so you can see they the, the model has very correctly identified most of the objects uh, very correctly handback with 93 percent probability uh, laptop 97 percent bottle 98 percent person it's 100 percent and then they have also identified these glasses and they are saying it's a wine glass with a probability of 98 percent so if you look at these uh, they are indeed so so this was the most simplest and quickest example of a detectron 2 but this is a very powerful model and we can do a plethora of deep learning work with detectron 2 and over the next one month i will indeed do a couple of videos implementing detectron 2 on much larger data set uh, doing more interesting uh, full-scale projects so stay tuned that pretty much wraps up this video and all my upcoming videos will all be on some great computer vision projects and algorithm with PyTorch and TensorFlow. So stay tuned and if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe. And if you like this video, smash the like button. Thank you for watching.